you need to change the needleless connector no more often than every four days or any time the connector is damaged or dirty. Follow your organization's policy for how often to change the connector. To change your child's needleless connector, first wash your hands. Clean your work surface with soap and water or a disinfecting wipe. Then lay down a clean paper drape or towel to create a safe zone. On your drape, place a needleless connector, three disinfecting pads, and one heparin syringe. Check the pharmacy label on the heparin syringe bag to make sure all the information on the label is correct. Next, peel open the needleless connector package on the hub end of the connector. Leave the package in place to protect the other end of the connector. Do not touch the open end of the connector. Use the first disinfecting pad to scrub the hub on the connector for 15 to 30 seconds. Let the hub air dry completely. Do not fan or blow on the hub to speed up the drying. Remove the cap from the syringe without touching the open end of the syringe. Put the cap into the trash. Connect the heparin syringe to the hub of the needleless connector. Then push up gently to push any air out of the syringe and the needleless connector. Keep pushing the plunger until you see a drop of fluid in the cap of the needleless connector. Close the clamp on your child's IV catheter if the catheter has a clamp. Open the second disinfecting pad. Scrub the connection between your child's needleless connector and the IV catheter for 15 to 30 seconds. Let the area dry completely. Do not fan or blow on it. Remove the needleless connector from the IV catheter and put it into the trash. Be sure not to touch the open end of the IV catheter. Always keep the open end of the IV catheter pointed away from your face and the patient's face. Open the third disinfecting pad. Wrap the pad around the open end of the catheter. Do not touch the open end of the catheter with the pad. Scrub with a twisting motion for 15 to 30 seconds. Let the area air dry. Do not fan or blow on it. Hold the open end of the catheter between your fingers without touching the sterile end. Remove the package covering the end of the needleless connector. Remove the cap from the end of the connector and put it into the trash. Be careful not to touch the open end of the catheter or the sterile end of the connector. If you accidentally touch the sterile end of the connector, throw it away and start over with a new one. Insert the needleless connector into the IV catheter. Twist the syringe to tighten. Open the clamp on your child's IV catheter. Use the push-pause method to slowly push fluid from the syringe into the IV catheter. Close the clamp on the IV catheter. Hold on to the needleless connector. Remove the empty syringe from the connector and place it into the trash. Do not remove the connector from the IV catheter.